There's a reason why AM radio has been around for a century and is so widely used, right? And it goes, it's able to go longer distances through buildings and it's reliable. It's why our country picked it. All right, AM radio in danger maybe of being tuned out in many new vehicles. There is now a bipartisan group of lawmakers, both houses of Congress, right, trying to stop this together. They're working together on this. Shows you how important it is. Automakers like Ford, Tesla, BMW say AM radios can interfere with the electric vehicles operating systems and lead to bad sound quality. So they want them out. They want to remove the radios from new cars. Ford has also announced some plans to remove AM radios from new gas-powered cars. There's new legislation. Congress would require all new vehicles to include AM radios with no extra cost to the customers, right? That's how we've been doing it. Joining me now, Joel Heitkamp, host of News and Views on KFGO, the mighty 790 AM radio in Fargo, North Dakota. Great to have you on this morning. Good morning to you. Thank you. Thanks, Marnie. Thanks for inviting me. So I think it's important here to be clear. AM radio stations are not going away, right? Let's start no. there. But it is a lifeline for people in many communities like yours, rural communities that rely on it. Talk about the importance of AM radio, not just decades ago, but still today. Well, here at the Mighty 790, we've always had a faithful and loyal audience, but we really do uh, as soon as you hear a tornado siren. Uh, as soon as you see the river rising and potentially flooding the communities, it's it's that important. It, it is the go to station for all things trouble at times. And, you know, you, you see the combines, the tractors, everything that's been put away for the winter. You go out there and you turn them on. They're tuned into KFGO radio. They're turned into AM radio and you can make one in your backyard. And so this is so ridiculous, Marty. If if you go in the parking lot right now, you're going to see my brand new Ford F-150 pickup. It's got AM radio. And I'll tell you what, if the next one doesn't have AM radio, I'll still be running this one. I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> right. Well, so, and the other thing is technology fails us, right? As good as it is, it can fail us. Sometimes we get spotty cell phone coverage when we're driving through the country. That's when we rely on AM radio, right? So it serves dual purposes. With that said, though, Joel, doesn't it have to evolve, right? Are there ways that AM radio can... Um, can be more of the times? Well, and I think it has uh, to some degree. I manage this uh, radio station and we put AM radio on FM radio as well. Uh, we sync that in so that that's available. But the point is when everything starts going to heck, uh, it's AM radio you're gonna go back to because of the way the signal is delivered. It's too important not to. Uh, emergencies, that alone should sell it. But it's where people get so much of their news, so much of their sports, and, and during my show, hopefully entertainment. So I don't know why they're trying to take it away from people. I really don't know what they're getting at. How would you respond to the question, and we hear this oftentimes, is it's just not as popular, right? And people have so many options available to them that I'm just not listening to AM for entertainment or for my news anymore. How do you answer that question? Well, in this market and others, we are number one. And there's over 20 stations, uh, most of them FM. Uh, and we are number one. We're the number one rated show by far or station by far. So people listen to AM if it's good AM. They do. Uh, we've got the Minnesota Twins. We've got the Minnesota Vikings. We've got all of that available through our family of radio stations on AM. And so I don't believe it's dead in fact, uh, I'm a Democrat, and I'm going to say something that's going to hurt to say. You know, but Rush Limbaugh brought back AM radio to so many people, the way that he brought talk radio to them. We're doing that here on a regional basis. And so, you know, it's, it, it did evolve. And talk radio is a big part of what AM radio is now. And people are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. and, if, and I mentioned it's a lifeline for so many, but... I mean, if it's at risk of going away in cars, in electric vehicles, and even in new cars, how big of an impact would that have on you personally, your well, community, your listeners? Yeah. It would have a, a terrible impact on them and a big impact on them. We're rural. I mean, we are. We're rural. And so to sit there and think that we instantly can communicate with each other is a stretch any other way. If, if something happens bad, Marty, I'm going to get a call here right into this studio, and they're going to say, Joel, get this on air right away. You know, something's something's on fire on I-29. Hey, there was a railroad accident in Castleton. This is the resource people go to for that. And whoever is designing these vehicles 
better understand that. I think they're living in a new world and they don't realize the world we're still in and are in today. Right. And are you not buying the argument? I mean, it's better sound quality without it in new electric cars. But if they're also talking about removing it from just all new cars, um, is this just a cost savings thing? Or oh, look? totally. Or is it an aesthetic? No. Yeah, this this is a, an excuse in so many cases. Uh, it's the same argument, Marnie, that we're having with auto manufacturers about how fast they're moving in other technology areas, right? We live a different life in the rural area. We're not where they think they are. And I'll guarantee you, they're going to get in trouble if they are able to do this. I like the word bipartisan being used. Mm -hmm. And if that's what they're doing on a national level to tell these guys to wake up, that the AM signal is vital, that we need it, and it needs to stay, then by God, that bipartisan movement's one I'll support. Well, I hear you, Joel, and I listen to AM every morning on my way into work, WGN here in Chicago. Uh, I appreciate you being on with us this morning. They're a great heritage station, <laughs> second probably to KFGO. All How's right, that? fair enough, fair enough. All right, coming up, we're going to go inside.